We'll now look at the final solution for the classroom behaviours exploratory factor analysis. So here's the three factor uh, principal axis factoring oblumen rotation solution. Uh, we said that we've got um, a uh, sociability factor here, a uh, task orientation factor here, and a calmness tension uh, factor here. What I'm concerned about is that whilst this is a fairly simple factor structure we have these two items here which are complex items. Their uh, loadings are very similar across two, two different factors and the nature of the items would suggest that they're not clearly related to sociability um, and they're not clearly related to calmness, relax, relaxedness. So let's try rerunning the uh, factor analysis without these two items uh, in place. So analyze dimension reduction factor and the two items are 6 and 7. So let's take out 6 and take out 7. All right, we can then paste that into the syntax and run. Then we can go straight to the pattern matrix. We now have 13 items and uh, we might not have taken out 6 and 7 or we've run the wrong syntax. Let's go back to syntax. Yeah, we've run the wrong syntax. Uh, down the pattern matrix. Okay, this is what we, we're after. Now the factor order may change once we take out some items. So now we have the task orientation factor. The worst loading item here, 0.75, is still above what I would accept as the minimum, which is probably about 0.6, and it's got no cross loadings. So one way to look at your solution is to look at the weakest items in each factor and see how well they perform. Uh, this factor, the weakest item, is point, almost 0 0.7 versus 0 0.28. As long as there's a reasonable gap between the primary loading and, the, and any cross loadings, then you can be reasonably confident that this item contributes towards a simple factor structure. In addition, I'd be reluctant to take out the third item in a three item factor. As long as it makes sense, which it does, calmness, placidness, relaxedness, um, I would have no hesitation in including this item. However, if we already had 10 items and this was an 11th item uh, and we felt like it was redundant or, or not centrally related to the meaning of the factor, then that may be grounds for removal. Uh, third factor is the sociability. The worst item is about 0.6 and it doesn't have any cross loadings above 0.2. So I'd be quite comfortable with that as a good uh, three-factor solution. We should go back and check now the um, total variance explained for three factors is 73.6%. Remember we're aiming to explain roughly between 50 and 75% if we can of the variance amongst the items using a small number of factors. So that's um, more than s satisfactory. Uh, now, when you do a uh, oblumen rotation, you do get at the end a factor correlation matrix, and this provides you with the correlations amongst the three factors. This helps to confirm that I that I was uh, made a good decision in choosing oblumen rotation because the three factors are moderately to strongly correlated. Uh, if I saw any small co correlations there, I may well go back and look at a very max solution to see if that was any better. Unfortunately when you do a very max rotation you don't get a factor correlation matrix uh, to consult but later on we'll look at how to create your own factor scores and your own um, correlations from those.